According to the book of Genesis, the Nephilim came into existence before the Great Flood, during a time when humanity was multiplying on earth. The sons of God found the daughters of men to be attractive and took them as wives, resulting in the birth of the Nephilim. These beings were described as mighty warriors or giants, possessing exceptional physical strength and prowess. The presence of the Nephilim on earth is said to have brought corruption and wickedness, leading to God's decision to bring about the Great Flood as a means to cleanse the world and start anew. Noah and his family were deemed righteous and were chosen to survive the Flood, while the Nephilim and most of humanity perished. Although the biblical account is brief, it has sparked numerous interpretations and elaborations throughout history. Some ancient texts, such as the Book of Enoch, provide additional details about the origins and activities of the Nephilim. These texts depict the Nephilim as fallen angels who descended from heaven, assumed human form, and interacted with humanity, teaching them forbidden knowledge and engaging in acts of violence and corruption. The story of the Nephilim is often associated with the concept of the divine human hybrid, where celestial beings procreate with mortals, resulting in offspring with extraordinary abilities. This theme is prevalent in various mythologies and ancient legends worldwide. While the Nephilim are not extensively discussed beyond their mention in the Book of Genesis and other related texts, their existence has become a subject of fascination and speculation for many. Some interpretations view the Nephilim as metaphorical or symbolic representations of the struggles between good and evil, while others consider them to be actual historical figures or supernatural beings. It's important to note that the story of the Nephilim remains rooted in religious texts and mythology, and different interpretations and beliefs may exist.